All right, guys, today I'm going to show you how to speed up your editing workflow in Premiere Pro with this one really simple hack that everyone should be using. And I'm going to try and show you how to do it in one minute. So stick around and show you what it is. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you tuning into this video. If you do find this video useful today, please do give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. But let's get into today's video. So as editors, we're always looking to speed up our workflow, or as hobbyists, we're always looking to get our videos done quicker. Now, I didn't even know about this one until a couple of months ago, and I'm kind of kicking myself because it's so simple but so effective, and I think everyone should be using it. So I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it, and I'm going to try and do it in a minute-ish. So let's jump into Premiere. I'll show you what it is and how to use it. Okay, so here we are in Premiere. I've got five drone clips here, and I've also got a music instrumental that I got off of Soundstripe. Now, you can find out more about Soundstripe here, music licensing site that I use all the time. Got some really good packages there. Okay, so we're gonna drag our track onto the timeline. Okay, and this is where the magic starts to happen. So the first thing you wanna do is check that your hotkey is the same as mine. So if you go to Edit, Keyboard Shortcuts, and you're gonna check that where it says Add Marker, it's M for Mother. Okay, if it's not, then you can just search for add marker here and then you can select M and that'll be your hotkey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the section of the track where we want the clips to start. So in general, you're gonna wanna edit your clips to the beat. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna play the track through and we're gonna press M on each beat where we want the clip to change. So let's just do that now. Okay, so I've only got five clips for the purpose of this tutorial, so that's fine. But if you have more, then obviously you just carry on until you've got all the markers down for all the clips that you want to put on. So when you've laid all your markers down, what you want to do is you want to make sure you move your cursor to the start of the clip. Okay, so then we're going to select all of our clips, and then we're going to click on this little icon down here, or we can go to Clip Automate to Sequence. Where it says Placement, you're going to want to make sure that it's set to At unnumbered markers not sequentially at unnumbered markers and then you just want to click OK and bang like magic is taking all of our clips and put them where we just made those markers so let's play it through now and you'll see that it's put the clips in the right place Pretty good, eh? It's like magic. I couldn't believe it when I found that and realised I hadn't been doing it for the last five years. It's a really quick and easy way to make really dynamic cuts with your B-roll on your timeline without having to drag each clip in one after the other. Just push them all on there. And if you want to change the clips around a little bit so you can change the in and out points, then you can do that once it's on the timeline. So you can do that for the whole track and just bring a shed load of B-roll. So as long as your B-roll goes from start to finish as you want it, you drag it all onto your timeline and it put it on the timeline, cut to the beats of the music where you've put the markers so there you go I hope you found this one useful if you have please do give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments if you found it useful if you know about this hack if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment audio and visual gear reviews editing tutorials, drone tutorials, Premiere Pro tutorials. Got some nice little playlists set up for you. When I'm releasing this video, I'm really close to a thousand subscribers, which I'm made up about. So help me out there. Give me a few more subs. It'd be great to have you on board. If you're already subscribed, appreciate you as always. Make sure the notification bell is turned on so I can let you know when new content is released. But that's it for this one. I'm gonna catch you in the next one.